Before we get started with the video, I want to give a shout out to Unbiased Sports Family. I'm going to leave the link down below. Um, please join our community. Um, definitely positive uh, uh, atmosphere, no negativity. Everyone respects each other's opinion. Uh, and, you know, we, we cover all the sports too, so come check us out. And like I said, just click the link down below. What's happening, peoples? Welcome to Friday Night Fights. Uh, definitely, we're going to be reviewing this uh, Saturday's fight. Um, that's happening. Uh, it's at 10:30 on Fox Sports One Eastern Time. If you live in the Midwest, it's gonna be 9:30, I believe. If not, check your uh, local listing. Um, definitely on the West Coast, you definitely gotta check your local listing for this fight. Uh, it's free, guys. So check it out. Anything's free. It's good for me. I'm sure you guys feel the same way, right? Um, great main event: um, Rory McDonald versus uh, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Uh, the main co is gonna be Donald Cerrone versus Patrick Cote. Um, let's talk about uh, Donald Cerrone and Patrick Cote first before we get to the main. Um, definitely, uh, both of them, um, you know, uh, coming off of big wins. And uh, Patrick Cote has actually uh, got a three-fight win streak, trying to uh, make his way back up to uh, title contention. And he actually lost to uh, Wonder Boy, so um, he's got to work his way back up. You know, start all over again. So, and now Donald Cerrone's in the mix in uh, the 170-pound division. Um, you know, recently beating uh, uh, Oliveira, which is the other cowboy from Brazil. So definitely, he pretty much finished him in a first round submission. Um, you know, it's definitely, you know, I thought it was going to be a little challenge for him since this is going to be his first time. But he just went in there, did his job, and I thought he did really great. He looked great too, you know. Um, definitely, I thought he was, uh, they're about the same size. And yeah, he did really well in the welterweight division. So it's definitely it's gonna be interesting for Donald Cerrone and he said he's willing to go up and down weight class too so you know like I said Donald he doesn't care who he fights put somebody in front of him he wants to fight so that's a great thing that's good for business and good for the fans and definitely we always want to see great fights that's why I'm always excited to see Donald Cerrone fight <clears throat> now let's get down to uh, Patrick Cote uh, you know he beat uh, Josh Berkman you know and he beat uh, Ben Saunders too so Definitely, you know, it's a, he's uh, getting some momentum with him. So now he has to feed, uh, face uh, Donald Cerrone. Um, Patrick Cote has been fighting for a while too. So is Donald Cerrone. Patrick Cote, um, he has great, uh, you know, he has some uh, hand power on him too. He's a very well-rounded fighter. Um, you know, just great all around. So um, definitely, you know, um, I think it's going to be a very interesting match. Um, same thing for Donald Cerrone. He's a well-rounded fighter he has submissions you know he's good jiu-jitsu kickboxing um definitely has some power too so definitely those leg kicks is going to help him out a lot i think uh for for my pick for this fight i think you know even though patrick Cote has the momentum but i think uh donald cerrone has the tools and the skills to beat uh patrick Cote. um like we said the longer the fight goes uh you know donald cerrone is you know he's he's a slow starter um, as time progresses, he gets stronger and stronger, and Patrick Cote, he starts really strong. And, you know, as fight gets longer, he tends to diminish. So it's going to be war of attrition at this point, and whoever gets off their game plan first. But um, right now, I just checked the odds on this. Um, Donald Cerrone is actually the underdog in uh, um, Vegas, uh, you know, the score points-wise, you know. Right now, uh, Cerrone's down negative 100 points, and they got plus 100 for Patrick Cote. So if you guys plan to gamble, put your money on uh, Donald Cerrone, just because. Um, you know, like I said, he's, I think, me personally, I think he's a much well, more well-rounded fighter. Um, as long as you don't get kicked in the, uh, the kidneys or the liver shot. So, but anyways, I don't think uh, Patrick Cote has, I, he rarely used punch, uh, kicks anyway, so um, definitely... Um, I, you know, if I was you guys pick on Donald Cerrone, put your money on him. So <clears throat> let's get down to uh, the main uh, main card now. Uh, Wonder Boy versus Rory McDonald. Um, this is a very interesting fight. Um, reason why they both uh, train together at TriStar Gym, um, so they know each other's weak uh, weaknesses. Um, but that just goes to show you this is back then. This is now. So. As they, you know, as their fight career progress, you know, they evolve through the sport, so things change. So interesting how, uh, you know, what the game plan is for Rory McDonald, because he hasn't fought in nine months. His last fight was against Robbie Lawler, and that was a war, man. I thought to me personally that was my uh, fight of the year pick, 
Definitely, man, it was hands down. It was back and forth. And just pretty much, they just stand in the middle of the octagon, just start throwing punches, kicks, whatever. Um, definitely, that was one of the most exciting fights I've seen in a very long time. Um, definitely. Uh, Roy McDonald, even though he took that loss, I think he learned a lot from it. Um, you know, Robbie Lawler is not an easy fight for anybody. Um, that guy, man, that guy is unbelievable, man. He's been fighting. He's actually one of the um, back-in-the-day fighter and actually evolved to fighting with the new generation now. Um, you know, it's crazy how he progressed through his career. Um, but definitely, for the most part, you know, I thought, you know, Roy McDonald did a great job fighting against Robbie Lawler. Um, even though he took a loss, I think he's going to gain a lot from it, from experience. And it's going to help him on this fight. Because this fight's not going to be an easy fight for him either. Um, you know, for him, if he needs to uh, beat uh, Wonderboy Thompson, he needs to pretty much stay on him, put a lot of pressure on Wonderboy. Don't let him stay on the outside. He needs to put and apply a lot of pressure. Uh, for him, he needs to hold him up, uh, up against the cage and pretty much grind him down there. Um, he needs to take him down to the ground and control him there and stay heavy on the top game. That's the only way I could see Rory McDonald winning this. If it's going to be a stand-up fight, he's going to lose. He's going to get knocked out. If not, you know, it's just pretty much going to be by unanimous decision by Wonderboy Thompson. If they, if it is a striking game. Um, you know, for the, Rory McDonald's way, his key to win this is to hold him up against the fence and grind him down and kind of tire him out. And if not, the best way for him is to get him down to the ground and just, you know, use his top, you know, his ground and pound game. Just be top heavy on him. Um, now let's get down to uh, Wonder Boy Thompson. If you guys seen his interview about Rory McDonald, how he's gonna handle him, um, he says Rory McDonald is a one-dimensional striker, uh, which is true because I watched it and I watched a couple of his replay, uh, his uh, his fights. Um, you know, when he fought a few people, I checked out some of it. And it's kind of true what he said. <clears throat> he said, Rory is pretty much a one-dimensional fighter. Not saying that he doesn't have any striking ability, because he really do. Um, what he said, he tend to keep his left always to the front. Which means he's only a, uh, he never switched hands. He says only once in a while he switches hands. But for the most part, his left shoulders is always out. So he's pretty much, his uh, power hands always on the on the back foot. So... Um, you know, left, you know, left foot forward, left shoulders forward. So that's what he means by, you know, stay strong to the left. All right. Um, but, you know, Wonder Boy Thompson, man, let me tell you, he's very, he's an unorthodox fighter. It's hard to fight somebody like that. Um, you know, great example, Leota Machida. Nobody could figure him out. Um, when he was knocking dudes out is because he's a karate practitioner, just like, uh, you know, just like uh, Machida. Same thing for Wonder Boy. You know, he's a karate practitioner. Um, it's all about for them. It's not staying in one place too long. Switch his stance a lot. Um, using um, using distance. And he likes throwing kicks. The wheel kicks and the outside kicks. And he likes to cut angles. He doesn't fight north to south. He doesn't fight east to west. He fights all over the place. He cuts a lot of angles. And he's very good in cutting the distance. Um, especially when he throws a combination. Um, you know, if... To me, what Wonder Boy Thompson's gonna do, he's gonna stay up, try to strike with him, and because that's where he's very skilled at, and that's where he's strongest, you know, that's where he's strongest at, and definitely staying on the striking. Um, I think uh, for me, if I have to pick and choose <clears throat> who's gonna win, I think uh, Wonder Boy Thompson's gonna win, um, even though Rory had that, uh, you know, that heavy, heavy, heavy uh, war with Robbie. And, you know, he should learn from that. I'm, I'm, like his interview said, you know, I learned a lot from that fight. It made him a, become a better person. Uh, but definitely, he's he's never fought somebody like uh, uh, Wonderboy Thompson, except for in sparring session. Um, sparring's different versus so you're actually fighting somebody in a cage. Right? Because in the cage, you're not holding back anything. Sparring, you hold back a little bit. Um, but definitely, you know, like we said, Wonderboy Thompson, every time he fought, he's coming off of a six-fight win streak, too. So... You know, he has momentum on his side too, so he's motivated. If he wins this, he has the next shot. And whoever wins, Robbie versus Woodley. So, you know, like I say, he has an eye on the gold, and I think it's his time. Um, you know, for me, I think it's just his timing is going to play a big factor on on Rory. I, I don't think Rory is going to be able to time him on the striking game. Um, you know, for me, I think it's going to be 
timing and speed versus, you know, Rory McDonald's one-dimensional striking. Um, you know, I gave you guys my thoughts if the way how Rory could win is just he gets them down to the ground and just pretty much stay top-heavy. If not, just grind them up against the cage. That's the only way. But being an unorthodox fighter, it's hard to time somebody. Every time you get close, he steps out the way and he'll hit you with multiple combinations, steps back out, and keeps you at distance. And that's how... Uh, that's how, uh, you know, Wonder Boy is going to win this fight. So, and besides, if you guys look at the Vegas odds, man, the odds is heavy. All right. Um, I think uh, right now Wonder Boy is uh, plus 140. And, and Rory McDonald, last time I seen it was negative 100, maybe 120, I think. Um, but definitely, you guys are going to place a bet. Um, go with Wonder Boy Thompson, you know. So, that's just my thoughts, guys. It's just my opinion. Um, you know, I call it how it is, and if I do, if I'm wrong, you guys see my last post, you know, I always apologize to that fighter, so, um, but anyways, Cerrone is going to take this one, and Thompson is going to take this one, um, but definitely leave me your guys' opinions, you know, leave me your guys' comments down below, let me know what you guys think, let me know who you guys rooting for, and if I'm wrong, write it down there, why, give me the reasons why you're picking for that person, um, definitely, you know, hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, video and enjoy my channel. You know, like always, you know, please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.